You see in the late 70s there were a good number of universities, polytechnics, and colleges of education, teacher training, all over Britain. Filling staff positions with suitably qualified applicants wasn't always easy. What's more the, in those days, non-university sector was quality controlled by a number of bodies, including the universities themselves. So what the universities did, they expected the colleges in which they played a validation role to do the same. The non-university accrediting body of the day, CNAA, was a fledgling, and the universities were, especially in teacher training, predominant.